Kenny Lofton scoring in his 18th consecutive game. I can't think of another Yankee that would get a standing ovation no. in Cleveland. Nope. Lofton hammers one. Away back. Go on to the bullpen. He made oh. that catch. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable. Kenny did it again. He did it again. Do you believe it? Wow. The play of the day. Makes the catch on the track. Oh. You know, before Kenny Lofton's 17-year run in the Grande Ligas, one that included six all-star teams and a couple of World Series appearances, as you can see on the screen, a decorated Major League Baseball star for sure. There was his time in the desert, the Harvard of the West, the University of Arizona, <laughs> uh, when he led the 1988 team to the Final Four and was a college basketball phenom. Yeah, Kenny Lofton was honored over the weekend and inducted into the University of Arizona Basketball Ring of Honor. It's really a prestigious thing. Uh, played with some notable names there, too. And here's Kenny from the weekend and the ceremony in Tucson. What a terrific honor. Yeah. And we thought it a great occasion to visit with Kenny. People were confused. Kenny Lofton basketball, what? I mean, maybe younger people, but I think we're all pretty much on board. We remember the basketball. Kenny looking honors. young himself, well, man. What's up, he Kenny? Like Good he to see you. He playing last Saturday. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I, you know, that right knee is telling me no. The left one says good. Well, let's go. Hey, congratulations so. on this, man. I, I know that, you know, it's it's been a long time coming, uh, a richly deserved honor. Tell us about the weekend. I mean, it was a great weekend. I had my family there. I had my daughter there. And it was just an honor to be able to see your your name on the rafters and um, the Wildcats, they they wrote out the red carpet for me. And again, I think you know I'm just I'm just finally feel like I got appreciated for what I did. I wasn't the big scorer, I wasn't the big rebounder, but I was that guy who changed the game. I changed them when I got on the court. I felt like my defensive skills changed the whole impact in the game, and I'm glad I was appreciated for that. Kenny, take us through some of the players you played with on that team. I remember Sean Elliott. Um, I mean, I played with uh, Sean Elliott, uh, Steve Kerr, Judd Bushler, Tom Tobert. Um, I had um, uh, we had we had uh, Matt, Matt Milbach, Othic. Um, I mean, even Bison Daly was there, starting with us. So Harvey Mason. We had some great guys on that team, and we just. We just was, you know, we just played Whoa, well together. Oh, Kenny, get up. Dang. So Sherman serious. Douglas, come on now, stop it. Some serious hops, buddy. Man. Little bit, little hey, bit. so so um, you had a decorated college basketball career. Obviously, you don't get in the ring of honor without that. But you end up being a major league all-star player. How many games did you play in college baseball? Well, I had a weird situation. After the Final Four, I told the coach I was missing baseball and I wanted to go out there and, um, and you know, and just, you know, just, just try it again. And some scouts were out, out there and one scout named Clark Christ mm -hmm. saw my skill. He said, this brother can fly. So he just <laughs> felt like, you know, he knew my, my skill was rusty just watching me, but he knew I could butt. He saw me bunt and he was like, this guy got some hands and they wanted to sign me uh that summer, so I played uh, in Auburn, uh, New York that summer. And then after the summer was over, I went back to school to finish my senior year of basketball. So you did not play at Arizona your freshman year, sophomore year, just that little bit your junior year, and then you signed? Yes. That's wow. What it was. So, so what, what skills did you, do you feel like, looking back now and even then, translated from basketball to baseball for you? I think it was my instincts. You know, being able to just um, use that first step um, in basketball, you had to play defense. You have to be left or right, and it helped me in off in the defense. It helped me uh, catch some some balls over the wall because I felt like any ball over the wall, if it was close to 12 feet, I was going to catch it. Listen to this, Matt. Close to 12 feet, I was going to catch it. I, I'm not going to. I'm well, not going to deny it. We on. saw it. I, I I remember going out there when you made this one catch. Uh, this isn't it, but he made a catch in right center in Cleveland. That kind of shocked this one right here. Got everybody talking about Kenny Lofton. I remember going out and doing a story on that. Remember that, Kenny? Yeah. No, it was it was awesome. Just to again, I just had instinct, and I know 
I had that um, that instinct ability out in the outfield, and I felt I changed the game. Speed was a big part of your game, too. Uh, you know, the five straight stolen base titles. I, I don't know how much baseball you're watching now, Kenny, but, the, you know, the stolen base is kind of back. The rules have made it a little friendlier to steal a bag. I want to know how many bags Kenny Lofton would steal with the rules of today's game. I'll say 100 a year. Easy. I don't it was, doubt it either. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm looking at your stolen base totals when it was harder to swipe a bag, you know, 75, 70. Oh, yeah. And they can only throw over two times, Kenny. Kenny, here's what Ooh, I man, don't get. Here's what I don't get. Why these guys don't make them throw over twice. What would you do? What oh. would your strategy be? My strategy, again, make them throw over twice. But, again, I would probably be going the first pitch anyway, so it didn't matter. But, um, <laughs> but if it was a tougher pitcher, I would just keep making them throw over. And you got to figure out the guys didn't have great pickoff moves. You would really be able to get them. Um, and the bases are bigger, so those bang-bang plays – that was bang, bang for me, I was safe. Yeah. Hey, I want to know, because you played for so many really good teams, Kenny, and you went to the World Series with the Indians, you went to World Series with the Giants, uh, you had good Cleveland teams like your whole run there. What was the best year, the best team that you played on? Um, I, without a doubt, it was the 95 Cleveland Indians when we lost to the Braves in the World Series. And um, I felt like if they would have had the same type of of, of call system with the umpires behind the plate, you know, we would have won that series as well. <laughs> I got it. All right. I okay. get you. Here's a yeah, little that was, that was a That was this a really team stacked team. Loaded. Loaded. Oh, my goodness. Loaded team. Loaded. Hey, uh, do you have any more on this? Because I want to go back to basketball. You yeah, you go else? back to hoops, and then I got All some right. other stuff. Okay, so we got more stuff for you. But I'll, I'm, I'm yeah. still I'm so fascinated with your story with basketball. So take me back. Young Kenny Lofton, high school mm -hmm. recruitment with baseball and basketball. Did they look at you at baseball at all? Well, they did look at me at baseball, but the issue was, you know, baseball was only given a, a half partial scholarship. And for where I grew up on, you know, little having little or nothing on, on welfare, you know, I think a full scholarship was the only way I was going to get to college. Mm. So I needed full scholarship because I couldn't pay for anything how I grew up. And um, when they, when, when Lou Dawson came out and they recruited me, they said, we give you a full scholarship. My grandmother at the time said, that's where you're going. Uh, no choice. Yeah. Here it is. We love that hey, photo, though. So we see though. Steve Kerr all the time winning championships with yeah. the Warriors, all that. I'm sure you guys are really tight. Do you see his demeanor and temperament being like this as a coach? Oh, we saw that early on because, you know, I always tell people, Coach Olsen always had his timeouts at the end of the game because a lot of times when we, we kind of got rattled, Steve got us in the huddle like he was the coach on the, on the court. So we felt like, you know, that was the opportunity for us to get our stuff right. And we knew Steve was going to be the coach um, sooner or later, but we thought he was going to be the coach at Arizona. Well, that picture looks Ridge like a, pic a scene out of Major League. It did, and I was going to ask yeah. you as we well, take a look at some Hayes. of these these photos. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to ask you, Kenny, there's always been rumors that you were the real-life inspiration for Willie Mays Hayes. Is that true? I believe so. They didn't tell me, but just seeing that I was the only person in the organization, center fielder, that played that same way, you know, and Charlie Seen, you know, basically said, Kenny, you were that guy, so... That's awesome. Hey, we have some more photos that we want to get your reaction to, just like okay. word association. First thing that pops into your mind, and here's one, man. Uh -oh. When you're a pro sports star in the late 90s, early 2000s, you get to meet a lot of cool Sugar people. Sugar Ray and what Halle do, Berry. What do we got here? Yeah, I mean, you know, Halle Berry's from Cleveland, and Sugar Ray was just sugar. So that was on the golf course, and that was a great moment right there. That's really cool. Uh, here we go. Here's the next photo. We'll go to the 2002 NLCS. <laughs> that's me again. You know, as always, you know, that's what happened where um, St. Louis threw at me because it was a funny story behind that. St. Louis, you know, hit a home run and they um, they um, um, they flapped the bat. So they so Dusty said the next guy coming to the plate hit a home run, you showboat it. So it happened to be me. I hit a home run and I showboat it, and then the next time at bat. They threw at me. Dusty did it to you. Dusty told you to showboat it? Because, again, Pujols hit a home run, and he flipped the bat way up in the air, and 
the Ducks had said, the next guy hit a home run, I want you to do something. And I'm like, oh, shoot. When I hit it, I'm like, oh, no. It was me. That's a better story than we ever could have guessed coming on that picture. Uh, all right, here's the next photo for you for your first reaction to this. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, again, it's me, you know, seeing the ball like I'm catching the lob in basketball. Once I see the ball go up, I know how to time almost everything I, I, I did. You know, I just timed it. All about timing, and I understood me me understanding the wall. You know, it, I made it look pretty easy at that time. So, <laughs> oh man, tell you what, Kenny, did you did you come off to me? Having known you these thirty some years now, you probably talked a lot of trash during basketball, didn't you? A little bit. I mean, you're gonna ask Reggie Miller. For this. You're gonna ask Reggie Miller and Gary Payton to this day. Let's go they give us a little out. something. Don't just say it. Tell me they what you're talking to Reggie because, about you know, UCLA we did a, uh, and Peyton at Oregon State. Well, uh, Reggie Miller, UCLA, we did a one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, we did a one-three-one, and I was on a baseline going back and forth. So we switched from that to a boxing one. So I was on Reggie Miller on a boxing one, and I just had him all over the court, and he did not like it. And to this day, he, he still talks about it. Oh, I love it. And you were in his ear the whole time? No, oh, the whole time. Now, you, you know, Gary Gary talked off. a lot of smack, period, especially in college. So what were you and Peyton getting into? I see you two brawling on the court. Well, you know, Peyton, the thing about it is he was one of the dynamic point guards out there, and I just, I just stayed on him the whole time. And – Again, you know, he was the he was the glove, but I think I was I had my I was the baby glove. If he was the big glove, I was the baby glove. But I was on him. But we enjoyed the we enjoyed the back and forth. Hey, Kenny, oh, it's man. been great uh, visiting with you this morning. Thanks for the time. Congratulations on yeah, the man. Ring of Honor. Really cool for you, and and we hope to talk to you again soon. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. Kenny, Kenny thank you, bro. That was awesome. Six-time All All-Star, Kenny Lofton. All right.